Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're heads down in the anniversary sales of Star Citizen and we will be talking about the Drake Caterpillar. The Drake Caterpillar is basically a pirate ship for multi-crew people to get your cargo in and really screw around in the universe. The Caterpillar is scheduled for the 2.6 release though it can still slide to the 3.0 release of course because this is very early days and well, the community manager said so, so hopefully, who knows, we will see it. So the Caterpillar can hold up to like, I think it has like 7 essential crew stations. So you got like 2 people in the turrets, you got 2 pilots and you got some people handing the comms and the weapon management and the uh, energy distribution. So I think like 7-8 positions, there's not really official. Uh, news because it doesn't have a brochure and when they actually released that info it was very early and uh, th the ship has actually changed quite a bit I mean the ship now is a lot larger it's actually 50% bigger than the retaliator and the constellation 50% longer not necessarily bigger but longer at least and it's actually even longer than the starfarer so it's quite a long ship and that's actually to do with the modular design of the uh, ship because all those compartments you see in the front right there, they are interchangeable. So you can say, okay, I'm going on a cargo mission. Then you switch all those modelers in for cargo units and you can get a lot of cargo in. Or you say, oh, I'm on a, going on a boarding mission, for example. You make sure that there's enough life support and enough space for guns and uh, perhaps a little cargo as well if you go on a good boarding mission. And of course, if you're on a boarding mission, there will be casualties, so you can even get a medic bay in, for example. Though all the modules are not uh, specified yet, so we have to see about what happens in the future. But I think if, the, if it will be released, we will see all the modules, and I think it will be a very versatile ship, which can fit any need, unless you're going for exploration or for data scanning or whatever. It's probably not fit for that. But it will mostly be fit for combat focus, like most Drake interplanetary ships are pretty much all uh, a little bit capable of combat, like the, um, the Cutlass, the Dragonfly and uh, the Caterpillar, except the Herald, which is basically a data runner. Also in this uh, Caterpillar you can actually get your Dragonflies in and deploy them even in space. So um, that's really cool and makes it a really small carrier. I think uh, you can fit up to four, but maybe even more if you change the ship a little bit and uh, do what you like. And well, you, you can basically do anything, I guess. Looks very nice in my opinion. The exterior looks very neat. The interior as well really has the Drake in the planetary feel. And I think they actually made the um, design very good and very on par with the other stuff. Very good materials and uh, the design document which they use for Drake is really nicely applied right here. And I think we see a lot of Drakes in the future. I mean, we have seen the Herald in 2.6. Uh, the Cutlass will come out uh, soon. I think it's in uh, 3.0 or 3.1. And I, I can't wait for myself for the Cutlass as well, but this looks really neat and I'm very happy to see it in the universe pretty soon. And if it comes in the universe, I of course make another video about the interior, uh, about what it is like to fly a Caterpillar and uh, well, just to give you a little bit of an impression. So yeah, that was uh, pretty much it for the Drake Caterpillar, what we have seen about, uh, about it in the anniversary still. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and like. And here on the left, you can actually see the anniversary recap. And here on the right, you can actually see my first Star Marine impressions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.